today we're gonna be doing like a little real life breakfast cook with me and basically I'm gonna take you guys through a real life breakfast what we're gonna have this morning and I'm doing something that's kind of like a staple for us we like to eat Dutch baby pancakes which I'm sure a lot of you have heard of by now I'll make it just a little bit of a healthier version and then today I'm gonna make kind of a different version of that version that's a lot of versions and I'm gonna make one that is savory ham and cheese and I might throw in some sort of vegetable or I might do that on the side I'm kind of figuring this one out as I go so you guys are just gonna experiment with me this morning this is something I would do for us you know just on a regular weekday and I have this cast iron skillet and I'm gonna use this I'm gonna put it in my oven and get it preheated So I just like to crumble it up first because then you can kind of lay it in whatever dish or pan you're using and it kind of holds the shape better. So I'm gonna go ahead and line this cast iron skillet with this and that just makes it for an easier cleanup. It pops right out. I've noticed that occasionally I'll get something that sticks, especially with eggs, like scrambled eggs, fried eggs. Occasionally it'll get just kind of sticky and messy. And so parchment paper just makes for easy cleanup, especially on the weekdays when we're all kind of busy and doing homeschool and all that. I don't even have to worry about it. And it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's kind of like sticking on the bottom that works for me what i'm gonna do is take out this top rack because when you cook this puff pancake thing it kind of rises and then it'll shrink back down so i want to make sure that when it rises it doesn't hit the top of my little oven here so i'm gonna go ahead and take this rack out and go ahead and put my skillet in which I love that this little oven can also fit that giant cast iron skillet. That's like pretty impressive. So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat this oven to about 400. Sometimes I'll do just a little bit lower. So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat that. Get that going. And so while that's preheating, we're gonna go ahead and put together this recipe and I'll kind of walk you through how I think I'm gonna do it today. I typically do just like the normal Dutch baby pancake or I'll make tons of different variations. We love blueberry, chocolate chips, sugar-free or sweetened with date chocolate chips. Those are my favorite. Um, you can do so many different versions, but today I'm gonna try one that's kind of like a play on ham and cheese. So let me show you what we're gonna use. Okay, so besides the normal ingredients that you use for this, we're gonna be using a little bit of Canadian bacon as well as some sharp cheddar. I love white cheddar, but you could definitely substitute Gruyere, Swiss, all those really Really good like white cheeses I think would be really good with the ham or the Canadian bacon basically the same thing I'm also gonna throw in some scallions here for a little oniony flavor and a little greenery you're also gonna need einkorn flour like I so here is where I have my einkorn flour in here I don't know if you can tell that it's kind of like a yellowy buttery color So even though I'm pretty much gluten-free, if I'm gonna have flour in my house, especially for my kids, or if I ever have a bite of something that has flour and gluten in it, I like to make sure it's einkorn. So I like to use einkorn flour compared to regular all-purpose flour because it has tons of vitamins and minerals in it. It is higher in protein than our normal like stripped white bleached American flour. It's organic and it has a lower amount of gluten in it. So if you're like me and you're someone who struggles with gluten issues or an intolerance, whatever, this is definitely a great alternative. Okay, so I like to get this big 10 pound bag. I like to buy it in bulk. Oh, I'm making a mess. What else is there? For me and my food philosophy, I really just believe in real whole foods that are the real quality. And so this is it for me. On to the recipe. Sometimes I'll make my Dutch babies in a bowl and sometimes I'll actually put the batter itself in a Nutribullet or just like a blender, even a food processor would work. And I'll blend it up like a crepe batter and it works really well and it's super quick. But today I'm gonna do it in a bowl since I'm mixing in our ham and our cheese. So we're also gonna need some milk. So I'm gonna do about one cup of milk. We're also gonna need six eggs. I have these eggs that I get from my mom. Why are there always crumbs in my bowl? I don't know. <laughs> There's too much floating around this kitchen. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do six eggs. Okay. 
I love getting eggs from my mom because look how yellow orange these yolks are. That is exactly what you want. All right, next I'm gonna add in my one cup of milk. And now I'm going to add in about a cup and a half of einkorn flour. Einkorn flour just takes a longer amount of time to absorb liquids. So it's not necessarily that you just need more flour. You just need to let it sit for a second and kind of absorb the liquid. So I'm gonna do a cup and a half. take my Canadian bacon here and I think I'm just gonna kind of cube it up make some strips and then cut it the other way and make it into little squares and then I'm gonna take about two or three ounces of this sharp raw cheddar cheese I like to buy good quality cheese here and we're gonna use about I don't know maybe almost half of it I'm gonna grade that up I actually thought about adding things like spinach to this or asparagus or some kind of green vegetable but I'm wondering if it might get a little bit burnt when we bake it in the oven because we bake it at almost 400, so that might be a little high. I think I'm just gonna do it like this, and then I thought about serving some sauteed greens or asparagus on the side, even for breakfast. I love getting in greens at breakfast. That's something my kids would not be shocked by. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get this going. And actually, if you have extra time, you could saute this Canadian bacon in a little bit of butter or something. Ooh in a skillet and get it nice and crispy. You could even add in a little bit of sauteed onion and garlic, beef it up. It's all about what you wanna do and how much time you have in the kitchen. But I don't think every meal has to be complicated and this is one of those that's super easy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start dicing this up. Smoke Gouda? Yes, yeah, it would yes. be good with smoke Gouda. That's yes. a good, yeah, a good idea. Yeah, my daughter said you could also do this with smoke Gouda, which I think is a great idea. <laughs> Because they're like smoky, both like right, yeah. 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 Nice smoky, savory breakfast. Yes, I love that. Yeah. Wow, that's good. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of salt and pepper and then I also think I'm gonna throw in a couple teaspoons of mustard so uh, you could use Dijon whole grain maybe even spicy mustard but I think I have whole grain right now so this is my Celtic sea salt and you guys don't be like me because the last time I ordered my Celtic sea salt, I accidentally got the kind that's coarse and so I don't have a grinder and so I'm just hoping this kind of melts into the recipe. Make sure it's fine ground, not coarse, unless you have a grinder, note to self. <laughs> Just to help balance out the savory flavor of this, I'm actually gonna add just a drop or two of maple syrup into here just to add a little bit of balanced flavor, just like a tablespoon or two, and then mix that in. I'm gonna take about three, maybe four tablespoons of butter here. I'm using nice good Kerrygold. Look how yellow that is, delicious. And I'm gonna pop this straight into that skillet and we're gonna let that melt before we pour in our savory Dutch baby batter. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. This smells so good. I think it's the green onion. And now, since my batter is all mixed together, I'm gonna go ahead and add in these little mix-ins. melted and good to go so let's go ahead and add in that
I also wanted to say hi to all the new faces here on my channel. I am so glad that you are here. I'm truly grateful and get so excited when I see that someone has subscribed. And I also wanted to tell the sweet lady at Apron Strings here on YouTube, thank you so much because she recently shared my channel with her subscribers and I could not be more grateful. And she has put so much work into her cooking channel and has videos for just about every comfort food you can think of. So I'll link her channel down below. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden, golden Golden, golden things Okay, so it ended up cooking for about 25 minutes and I think that was perfect. It's completely cooked through and brown and the cheese got a little bit crusty, which I love. And I just added a little bit of those kale sprouts on top just for a little more green and more nutrients and breakfast is done. So I'm gonna eat this and I thank you guys so much for joining me today in the kitchen and I'll see you in my next video. Kids are gonna like this one. Gold hair, gold ring. Gold leaves, gold anything.